I am absolutely stunned with the results that I got using this odd and barely used candlestick pattern that most traders have never heard of. But first off, welcome to a new segment that I'm doing where I'm going to be ranking every candlestick pattern on a scale 1 through 10. Today, we're starting off with a candlestick pattern known as three white soldiers. And the reason that these results were extremely surprising to me is because of this. Whenever we're trading, our main goal and what we're trying to achieve is capturing the very bottom of a market at the lowest point so we can catch this entire big move up if we're buyers. Now the three white soldiers candlestick pattern is a bullish pattern meant to capture reversals, but oddly enough, what we're supposed to wait on with this candlestick pattern is price to be pushing down and then we're waiting for three very large green candles before we place a trade. Now, what's the problem with this? Well, if we want to have a decent stop loss, it's got to be under that swing low. So this makes us have a very large stop loss and a very difficult time hitting our targets. But after testing this candlestick pattern through a little bit of historic data, the results were a bit crazy. And that's what I want to share with you today. I'm going to teach you how to trade this candlestick pattern. I'm also going to go through the results of the testing that I did. Then I'll teach you an entire strategy using it. And afterwards, I'll give you a few different creative ways that you can use this candlestick strategy, this candlestick pattern in your own trading arsenal. So if that sounds good, go ahead and click that like button for me. Go ahead and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you after the intro and disclaimer. Welcome back. And the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the definition of the three white soldiers candlestick pattern. Then I'll be ranking this candlestick pattern on a scale one through 10. And towards the end of the video, if you stick around as a special bonus, I'll be showing you a few different ways you can use this candlestick pattern along with other strategies in order to increase its accuracy and the frequency of trades you can get while using it. So if that sounds good, let's get started. First off, what's the definition of three white soldiers, the candlestick pattern? The definition of this is essentially, it is a candlestick pattern used to predict reversals from a downtrend and predict when price is going to head higher. This candlestick pattern uses a sequence of three candles. These three candles are a swing low candle followed by three consecutive candles that close above the previous candles high. Now, if that sounded like a really drawn out and difficult definition to understand, then don't worry, we're gonna go over it right now. So if you take a look at the drawing on the screen, you can see that we have price pushing lower, right? We get a swing low, then we get a candle that closes above, closes above, and closes above. This sequence of three candles closing above the high of the previous candle is what is known as the three white soldier candlestick pattern. So the first way we're going to be talking about using this is again, waiting for price to be pushing lower in a downtrend, then waiting to see three consecutive candles close above the high of the previous candle. That is our candlestick pattern. Something else we can see is the low, the swing low after this push down be the one of the green candles. The swing low can be the first candle that closes above the previous candle. That's completely fine too. As long as we have three candles in a row, essentially that close above one another, then we have this candlestick pattern. So now that you have an idea of what to look for with the three white soldiers candlestick pattern, let's go down some charts and take a look at some real examples on live data. So after that brief tutorial, see if you can spot a three white soldiers candlestick pattern on the chart now. Hopefully you were looking at this right here. So right here is the exact situation we're looking to see. We're looking for price to be pushing lower. We're then looking for a swing low followed by one, two, three consecutive candles closing above the high of the previous candle. The third candle would be where we enter into the market. You'd want to stop loss somewhere below this swing low targets, wherever you want targets. But what we're expecting after this reversal candlestick pattern is price to continue higher in a major way. Let's see if that happens here. As you can see, we did get a really nice push higher after the three white soldier candlestick pattern. As another example, here in this situation, you can see price pushing lower in a pretty dramatic way. When we're looking for this reversal pattern, what we're looking to see is something like one, two, three consecutive closes above the previous high of the previous candle. 
And even though our green candles actually are swing low, this would still qualify as a valid three white soldiers pattern. So now that you've seen how these look on an actual chart, let's discuss a full strategy using this candlestick pattern. As we said earlier, this candlestick pattern is used in order to find reversals from a bearish market to a bullish market. So the first rule of our strategy, if we're going to create it in a very logical way, is how do we know when a market is primed to reverse? There's infinite ways to, to find that out with indicators and even levels of structure, support, resistance, whatever you want to use is fine. But for today's example, we're just going to use a very simple RSI indicator in order to help us judge the accuracy of this candlestick pattern. So the RSI indicator is going to have a setting of eight. And the reason that I have the RSI length set to eight is because I'm not looking for extreme highs and lows. I just want to capture if a market has started to trend down the bottom of that trend, that's what I'm trying to capture. So that's why the settings are a little bit faster than normal with the normal length being 14. This one is set to eight. So for the full strategy, again, super simple. This is literally just to test the accuracy of our candlestick pattern. We're looking for the RSI indicator to go in an oversold territory. We're then going to look for our candlestick pattern, a swing low followed by three consecutive close above the previous high candles. In other words, we're looking for the RSI to go over sold and then looking for the three white soldiers candlestick pattern. After that, we're going to be entering on the close of the third candle, which would be right here. In this case, our stop loss is going to be 10 pips below the low that was the swing low right here. So we have 80 pips down to it. That'd be a 90 pip stop loss. And just for simplicity, we're going to go with a one to one reward to risk. Again, we're just measuring the accuracy of this candlestick pattern so I can judge it on that scale one to 10 a little later in the video. So with this being the case, this would be a winning trade. Let's take a look at one more example of this because it's so simple. And then I'm going to show you the surprising results I got, give you the judgment of this candlestick pattern over the scale of one to 10. And we're going to talk about some ways to improve on this very simplistic version of a trading strategy. Here's another example of the strategy. We have price pushing lower and we do in fact go into the oversold territory after which we get three consecutive close above candles in which the candles close above the previous high of the previous candles. So with that being the case, where would our entry go? It would be on this third candle. We're going to have a stop loss 10 pips below the swing low down to the swing low is 224 plus 10 be 234 in that range. And then just a one to one reward to risk to test the accuracy of the three white soldier candlestick pattern. As you can see in this scenario, this trade won. but now let's take a look at the results of testing this over a larger sample size. Let's say five years of data. Okay. Before we get into the testing results, I want to explain to you how we're going to be judging this candlestick pattern and all the candlestick patterns throughout this segment of videos. What we're going to be looking at is three different criteria. They are the accuracy of the candlestick pattern, the frequency or how many opportunities did it prove to have throughout a long period of time. And we're also going to be looking at the reward to risk potential considering where we enter based on that candlestick pattern. For example, in this candlestick pattern, we have to wait on three pretty large candles before we can get involved. That's not normally great for our reward to risk potential. But those are the three criteria that we have. We're going to gauge each of them on a scale of one to 10 and come up with the average, which is going to be that candlestick patterns rating. So with that being said, the results you're about to see are over the past five years. So that would be from June 29th of 2017 to today's date, which is June 29th of 2022. And these results are of exactly what I taught you just a second ago using RSI eight period going oversold, then looking for our candlestick pattern entry being on that third candle and with a stop loss of 10 pips below the swing low and a one to one reward to risk ratio. So let's check out what the Euro dollar did. So these results also are on the Euro dollar four hour chart. Let's take a look. So this is what it did over the past five years. And I, I'm imagining that you can already guess where this is going to lie in terms of the rating. So let's start off with accuracy. We ended up getting 16 wins and seven losses. So that would mean accuracy wise, I'm giving it a 10. 
Anything above 65% accurate is getting a 10 in my book for sure. And before we even keep going, let me uh, scroll back here and show you guys the results, show you the lines on the chart so you can see that I actually did this testing. And as you can see, we went all the way back here to 629 of 2017. And these, again, were based on exactly what I showed you earlier. I'll scroll in on one so you can see that. Here we have one example where we have a swing low, obviously right here, followed by one, two, three, close above candles. This was our entry candle, stop loss, one to one. You get the point. So all of these trades were based on exactly what I just showed you. And we've already defined that accuracy is getting a 10. Why? It's 70% accurate. That's pretty damn good. Even at a one to one reward risk ratio, 70% accurate is very good. Next up, we got frequency. Well, in five years, it only got like 23 trades. Do you think that's good in terms of frequency? I would say absolutely not. So one of the big surprises for me when testing this candlestick pattern was the accuracy. I didn't expect it to be in the 70% range. The second big surprise was how little it happened, the frequency. It hardly ever actually exists. So if you were going to trade this, then it would probably be better to trade it on lower time frames because on lower time frames, you can get a higher frequency of trades over the same period of time. For example, in five years on the hourly chart, this would have been way more trades than it is here on the four hour. So that might be something to think about in terms of frequency. Frequency on this one, I'm gonna give it a three. At least it had some trades, right? So frequency gets a three. Next up, reward to risk potential. We kind of talked about this already, but for this candlestick pattern being as it is and, and considering that we need three of these big candles before we can enter the market, we almost have to have a really large stop loss unless we put the stop loss below the entry candle, but then you're messing with the accuracy. So there's a lot of nuances here, but reward to risk potential. I would definitely say this has towards the bottom end. So I'm going to give it a two on the reward to risk potential here for the three white soldiers candlestick pattern. So if we average these out. Let's go ahead and add them up. We've essentially got 15 divided by three, which is going to give us a five. So as for the three white soldiers candlestick pattern, it's getting a five out of 10 rating, not something that I will probably be using, but something that may be worth using if you're okay with trading on smaller time frames, or if you're okay with the very limited frequency along with the kind of limited reward to risk profile that you can get with this type of candlestick pattern. Now there are some ways to get way more trades. For instance, trade the bearish version of this, which is three black crows. Essentially it's the same thing flipped upside down. That would increase the frequency. And I'll give you a few other ways that we can increase the frequency right now. Let's get into the bonus. But if you enjoyed this video, you enjoy this kind of content, go ahead and click that like button and comment below with the next candlestick pattern you want me to do in this segment of videos. Now, now, let's move on to the bonus where I'm going to share with you some ways to increase the frequency of trades you can get with this candlestick pattern. The way I increase the frequency of trades using this strategy is extremely simple. It is just by dropping down to a 30 minute time frame. We've talked a little bit about that already, but that did dramatically increase the frequency of trades in terms of year over year. And we're going to take a look at those results right now. The results of just dropping down to the 30 minute time frame instead of trying to trade this on the four hour, there was a few things that actually really surprised me. We're going to talk about those right now. So let's go ahead and scoot left. Here are all the trades that were produced throughout the past two years. So on the 30 minute chart, we just had to look through two years of data and we still got significantly more trades by doing so. As you can see here, we went back to around 630 of 2020 and right now it's somewhere around 630 of 2022. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these trades to kind of refresh your memory just to, at a couple of them. So these trades were based on exactly what you've already learned throughout the entire video. We have price pushing lower, as you know, right here. Then we get a swing low candle that closes above the previous candle followed by two more candles that close above that candle. That in fact is our exact candlestick pattern that we're looking for in this video to refresh your memory about the stops and targets and entry. The entry is right there at the close of that candle. Stops are 10 pips below the low of this candle that is the swing low. So 34 plus 10 and the way I got 34 is just by pulling down to that swing low plus 10 is 44 somewhere around there. 
obviously we did hit targets at a one to one reward to risk ratio right over here. I want to give you one more example of something I don't think I've mentioned on real charts. I did mention earlier that the swing low candle can be a green candle. So just so that is actually clear, as you can see, we have price pushing lower. Our first rule and the way we identify that something's ready to reverse with this specific strategy is by waiting for the RSI indicator to go oversold. And that's what happens right here. At that point, we have a green swing low candle. Now, just because this candle's green is irrelevant, we just need a swing low followed by one, two, three candles that consistently close above each other after that swing low. So if, even if it starts with a green candle, that's completely fine too. So just realize that as we move forward a bit. And as you can see here, this actually ended up being a profitable trade as well. I'm going to go through one more just to make sure that this strategy is completely clear for you. Let's actually find a loss. So you guys can see that we do have losses as well. So here we go. We have price pushing lower, right? Everything's lining up. We have the RSI going oversold. We then have a swing low followed by a close above, a close above, and another close above. It barely did, but this green candle did in fact close above the previous candle. So with that being the case, rules met, this was an entry, and as you can see, it did not work out. Okay, so now for the fun part, let's take a look at the numbers that occurred just by dropping down a couple of time frames to the 30 minute chart. As I'm sure you remember, for the four hour chart, we went through five years of data we ended up with only getting like 23 trades, but we did have a 70% win rate and that made the accuracy 10, but the frequency and the reward to risk potential was pretty low, giving this candlestick pattern only a five overall. After testing this on a day trading time frame, I'll say that this five only stands for swing trading. Let's talk about the number for day trading. So with our day trading, what ended up happening is what you see in red. The surprising part of this is one, we only had two years of data. So only two years of data, but it produced around 56 trades in just two years, whereas the four hour chart took five years to produce 23. Now that's kind of a gimme, like that. that's understandable. We're looking at a 30 minute chart here. Sorry, that says 15, this was on the 30. So we're looking at a 30 minute chart here. You would expect it to have more frequency. The big surprise is that the win rate went up so we ended up having a 75% win rate on the 30 minute chart and we got a decent amount of trades over two years. So these being really surprising results and making me think more so if you're a day trader, this might be a candlestick pattern worth looking into because this pattern does have improved frequency along with really good accuracy, even after a larger sample size of trades. Now, even 50, six trades isn't necessarily the best sample size. You would still need more. I normally go with 100 to figure out the validity of a candlestick pattern. So you'd still need to do about double this. But at this point, I would be considering the frequency on a day trading time frame closer to like a six or a seven with me being able to get this many trades. So for day trading, I really think this candlestick becomes more like a, a seven than a five. So it puts it up there on the scale a little bit higher if you are a day trader. And there's even other ways to increase frequency. One of them that comes to mind immediately is by trading the opposite of this. So this one is called three white soldiers. The opposite of this, if you want to look it up yourself, is called three black crows. And that is literally just the inversion of what I just taught you. It's just the bearish version of it. You would be looking for a swing high after price has moved up. And then you'd be looking for three consistent candles that close below each other after that swing high. That would be three black crows. So if you traded this in both directions, you would probably get well over 100 trades over the course of two years on day trading time frames, 30 minute and lower, which is something I think is really cool considering this, I would give this win rate like a 12 at this point. This thing's getting a 75% win rate from my testing. Again, a small sample size, but still that is very impressive. Also keep in mind that this candlestick pattern was originally formed for the stock market. So if you're someone that trades in other markets other than Forex, feel free to go test it there yourself as well. At this point, you have all the tools necessary to take this candlestick pattern and even this whole strategy you've learned in this video and go test it on different currency pairs, different time frames, even lower time frames like the 15 minute, 
five minute different markets like the stock market it's all in your hands at this point after watching this video i hope it was valuable for you again comment below with the candlestick pattern you want to see me do next as usual we do have some space available inside of the ttc forex university so if you're someone that's interested in some more advanced forex training we would love to have you aboard that is our flagship program you can find all the details in the first link in the description or by going to www.ttcfxuniversity.com. If not, that's totally fine too. Just make sure you're subscribed here. Make sure to click that like button for me and I'm going to catch you in the next video. See you soon.